So over the years I've mainly played the Bedrock edition of Minecraft and over the past few years I've slowly transitioned into Java and you know the main videos I've done on 100 days format have been on the Bedrock edition of Minecraft so I thought I'd try and do one on Java. So here we are, the first recording session, days 1 through 12. Didn't really do much on the first day, just kind of ran around for a bit, yeah. And yes this is in the 1.20 snapshot. But of course you gotta know I did the basics like punching wood and you know mining stone on the first recording session as you do. And at times I wasn't really doing much, I was kind of just punching grass and I guess, you know, just looking around for shit. Such as animals, I guess. Which I eventually, you know, was about to kill and, you know, kind of need them for food. And then after that I went exploring in this dark cave for a few days. Mainly because, you know, I needed iron for armour and, you know, for a shield and for a bucket and also coal for torches. Yeah, I really wanted a lot of resources before I built a house and shit. Kind of weird. I don't know why, just is to me. After that mini adventure I found a pillager outpost which also had some pumpkins, you know, that was kinda nice. And because I want to make my life easier I decided to let the iron golem out so he can take care of the pillagers, whilst I go up to the top and you know loot their chest at the top. But uh the loot's not that good. Uh. After a while though I found a place to settle down which is where I'd eventually build my house. For the floor of this house I decided to use the new bamboo wood which honestly it does look nice and for those wondering how I got the bamboo for this I basically found a bamboo jungle which is not too far from where I'm you know staying. And for the overall framing of this house I'm going to use stone brick. You know I'm kind of proud of this house because I never built anything like this before so yeah this was nice. And yeah I never built a house which also had glass pane walls so yeah I guess it was nice to build a house you know which was like this so you could actually see everything around you. I don't fucking know I've never built a house like this before. And on the balcony I kind of use bamboo blocks here, which I kind of have conflicting opinions about. It's kind of strange, I don't know if it necessarily fits here. And after that some pillagers kind of showed up, however you know it was very easy to take care of them since I pretty much just got them to shoot each other in the back. And therefore since Wallen killed Captain, they didn't get bad omen, which was nice. Oh and yeah, I'm done with my house by the way, only took a few Minecraft days. And now it's a new recording session, days 13 to 46, which started off with me just farming sugarcane, because I kind of needed it for, you know, creating books for enchanting. And after that I did some more basic Minecraft tasks, like simply just chopping down a forest, because, you know, kind of wanted a lot of wood. Well, the main reason I wanted a lot of wood was probably so I could trade for sticks with a Fletcher villager, so I could get a lot of emeralds, and down here is where I make space for a potential villager breeder. And luckily at some point I was able to find a village and in one of the houses there was a brewing stand because you know all the villager churches would have one. And of course you gotta know I started the process of kidnapping villagers and putting them back in my base. And this actually wasn't so easy because there were points where the river didn't link up and I kinda had to create my own river to get around it. And after a long while I managed to get at least two villagers in so I can now have infinite villagers since I can breed them. During times whilst waiting for the villagers to breed, I went back to normal Minecraft activities such as building an animal pen for animals. When, you know, I decided to actually use the villagers, I decided to try and get a Fletcher villager so I could trade sticks for him for emeralds, and also try and get a toolsmith so that I could actually get, you know, some better tools so I could actually mine faster and, you know, do shit like that faster, and, yeah, just make my life a whole lot easier. And of course, you gotta know, I went back to those, you know, basic Minecraft activities such as, you know, creating a crop farm and collecting animals. At one point after that I went strip mining, hopefully when I get down pickaxes from a toolsmith this should be made a lot faster and a lot more efficient. And here's nothing special but I found an amethyst geode. And another thing, I found a mine shaft. And after that long ass trip I finally came back up and traded with a toolsmith for faster axes. And you gotta know I definitely put them to good use cause I need more wood to trade for more emeralds with the Fletcher villager. And at one point from the toolsmith I got a diamond pickaxe and managed to mine obsidian which I'd used to create a nether portal and an enchantment table. Oh and yeah, got more diamonds from mining by the way, if you saw then. And I think after I got the toolsmith villager I wanted to get an armour villager this so I could get diamond armour which would be best you know for going in the nether. Remember, I'm on hardcore so if I die, I can't respawn. And at one point I got an enchanting table and decided to enchant a diamond sword and... Oh, oh that's bad. That's really bad. So I re-enchanted it and got better enchantments. And at some point after that I managed to level up my armour villager high enough so I could actually buy diamond armour from him, which, you know, I did like and was very nice. But yeah, to afford most of it, I need to get more wood for emeralds. But yeah, at some point I managed to get enough emeralds to buy a full set of diamond armour. Yeah, should be fully protected now. Or at least protected enough to go into the nether. But to be honest, I didn't really do much here, I kinda just mined quartz and nether gold. Yeah, that's all I did. Oh yeah, found another village by the way, but it didn't do much here either. And at some point after that I was digging sand for a future project. But yeah, after that I just created a small brewery room, cause you know, I feel like I kinda needed one. And at some point I went back into the nether so I could get shit like, you know, blaze rods. On that trip I also found some nether wart and created a mini nether wart farm right next to the brewing station. 
And yeah, this was the project I was talking about. Pretty much building a massive bubble elevator to, you know, a point where, you know, I can build a fucking mob farm in the sky. And I can say the construction of it is going really well. And it's done, since nothing else really spawns in this area in the sky. Yeah, everything should just spawn inside the darkroom farm. And it's a new recording session and I decided to get a cleric villager so I could eventually trade for enderpearls. And during this recording session I was back in, you know, the nether for more blaze rods, however I kept running into wither skeletons during days 47 to 62. And also a thing I did during these days was trying to get, you know, perfect enchants from librarian villagers. Yeah, not only for the elytra but also want to get perfect armour and tools at some point. And of course you gotta know I'm still, you know, chopping wood to get sticks so eventually, you know, I can have enough to actually afford all the enchants I want. Oh yeah, I've also not been sleeping so I can kill phantoms for slow falling potions with the phantom membranes. And if you haven't guessed, I'm gonna use these in the ender dragon fight. And no, seriously, I'm in the stronghold. I found it. Let's do this. And after filling in the portal with the eyes of ender, I was just preparing myself, you know, building up the pair of bollocks which I have to, you know, jump in and fight the ender dragon. And this fight was made a lot easier thanks to the slow falling potions, and the fact that I've done this fight so many fucking times on hardcore. And if you couldn't also tell the ender dragon's very fucking loud, probably even louder than I am. But yeah, you gotta know, of course, since I've done this fight so many times and have been playing Minecraft for, what, 10 years now, I was able to successfully kill the ender dragon. And of course, as usual, I collected the egg, even though it serves no real purpose. And since I wore that elytra, I ended up trying to loot a lot of end cities, and, you know, successfully doing so. But the elytra is mainly in the end ships, which is where I had to go to get it. And of course, you know, the dragon head serves no purpose like the dragon egg, but of course, I collected it. I also put it in a great place. And I was also using a lot of the levels I got from the fight to get perfect enchants. Uh, sometimes, you know, it wasn't working. And after I got perfect enchants on both my pickaxes, you gotta know I put mending on them. Oh, did I mention I have a mending librarian? I have one now, yes. And I wanted to test out these pickaxes, so I went mining. And, yo, know, they're very effective. And day 63 to 87 just started with me AFK. And I really, really do not know why I decided to just AFK at the start of this recording session, but I did. But since I was starting to get perfect enchants on most things, I went ancient debris mining so I could get them perfect enchants on the diamond shit to be netherite. But yeah, since we're in a 1.20 snapshot, I have to look for the netherite upgrade smithing template so that, you know, I could actually upgrade in the fucking first place, which is bullshit, this fucking new system, by the way. However, spending all that time in the nether, I managed to accumulate a lot of nether quartz, which I'd eventually mine down for more XP, which was very nice. And as well as the stick trades with Fletcher villagers, I managed to be digging up a lot of clay for the stonemason villagers, which I believe would be the better trade for me at this point. And, you know, either way, it doesn't really matter, both still gets me a lot of emeralds. And as you can see here, I'm getting my armour up to protection 4, which would be nice, so I'm very protected in hardcore, which I kinda need, as I said before, I have only one life. Oh, by the way, I think I've pretty much chopped down this entire forest. I mean, at least almost all of it, at least. And also, at some point afterwards, I was building the same type of style of storage room which I always build. Yeah, I mean, everything looks nice, and I'm depositing all my shit in here, but I feel like I've done this same design so many times. Oh yeah, I enchanted a hoe by the way, since 1.16 they've actually had a use outside of just farming. Days 88 to 100, new recording session which started in the nether, and I got this lodestone from a piglin bastion which I actually fucking used, and then it broke for some reason, I don't know why. And also after a mining session back in the overworld, I managed to mine up a lot of diamonds. Yeah, I don't know why I did, there was no real reason. However, little did I know that I actually would need these for something. But yeah, if you could see there, I got the netherite upgrade, which is nice. And yeah, this is why I need the diamonds to kind of duplicate this. And as you can see in this clip, this is kind of how the upgrade system works. You kind of have to place the smithing template in there first, and add the piece of, you know, weapons or armour, and then add, you know, the ingot or something. And that's how you upgrade. And even though I still think the new system is shit, I, you know, went back in the nether so mine for more inch debris, because I still want everything to be netherite. And eventually I was coated in full netherite. Oh, and yeah, my first netherite tool was my sword, because, yeah, it does slightly more damage. Felt like it was necessary. And now most of my tools are netherite. Maybe not all of them will be netherite before the 100 days is up, but I'm glad most of them are. But yeah, we're still inching debris mining, and if you could see here, I was actually using beds which I at one point got from the desert village which I visited here at one point. But we're finally here, 100 days in Minecraft Java. It's definitely been a journey. So yeah, I think the only thing I did on this day was just improve around the nether portal to include a bit of blackstone instead of just deep slate. Yeah, I think it would look a lot nicer if blackstone was included. Yeah, the part around the nether portal looks a lot better now. But yeah, I think I deserve a rest.